we talked earlier about meditation. How, and, and, and I don't meditate, but from what I understand, it's very much being in the now and not being somewhere else. How, how does what you've just said link into meditation where you, you, you know, you're not thinking that you're somewhere else? Or, to, how do you does, do that? How do you do that, <laughs> yeah. I, I, wrote, I wrote a jingle about that, was, and actually it was a part of a movie that they got paid for, and it was basically called The Present. The present is a microsecond fiction. Now you see it, now you don't. I can't even put it into diction. The present's just not here anymore. Uh, the present won't stay while time slips away. And so there's no, there's no such thing as the present. Where, show me the present. There it is, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and so what does that mean? You know, basically, what meditation is, is, is emptying your mind. Right. It's just emptying out. Now, how do you do that? Basically, I use a mantra. That's why I have these beads. Basically, when I say my mantra, uh, I advance the bead, and it helps me remember to keep doing it. I do that every morning for at least a half hour to an hour when right. I get up, because I get up early. And I've been saying, uh, I have uh, several mantras I use, but my main mantra, which I call my default mantra, because my consciousness defaults to that in ordinary moments, instead of just letting my mind wander all over the place, the mantra keys in. I've said it million, I've made a vow in 1976 to say it a million times a year. And I did when I was competing, and now I probably have, I'm up to 30 million times total since 76. Why did you decide to do that? Because it worked. Is it right? Was it, was it as, uh, again, we spoke about this earlier, was it because you were, move, you were trying to move away from something that you didn't like that you were doing, or moving towards something? Well, I'd studied it a lot. Okay. You know, I'd studied a lot and about, learned about the different forms of meditation, <laughs> tried them all, and uh, just experienced all kind of different things, with personal growth systems, on and on. And then I discovered uh, saying a mantra was maybe the, uh, probably the most useful because, you know, I mean, we use words, we think in words, we have words and sounds running through consciousness all the time. If I can control, con control that verbiage. Right. And I, it especially became apparent to me in 1979, my last year that I won the Olympia, because the last month I had a house in Palm Springs that was really a gym, that I went the last month and lived there and just trained and got sun and ran at night. And uh, I noticed that if I didn't say my mantra, I would be distracted by th with thinking about what my competition might be. What if so-and-so looked like that? What if this, what if, all these what if situations. And then I realized that made no difference at all. Only thing that mattered is distracting me. What really mattered is what I did. It didn't make any difference about what anybody else did because that was out of my, I was beyond my control. Right. I, and what I learned is don't worry about those people, they'll find a way to screw up on their own. There's nothing I have to do to, to, to help that along. All I have to do is work on myself. And so I focused on my mantra. And I noticed like the last couple, we last week before I, I left, I was in such a blissful, calm place that nothing could bring me down. And I went back to Ohio like that and maintained that attitude the whole time and just, just blew the competition away with that attitude because I knew. Right. I already knew. See, the whole thing to winning is to win ahead of time. You know, one of the mantras is I have already won. Now, in 77, when I hadn't already won, I had to convince myself that I was the winner. And so I did so in my advertising. I advertised 77 year of Zane. And when anybody asked me what my chances were, I said, well, it's my intention to win. You know, there's no chance involved. It's my intention. Yeah. And it went on, and then I won, and I was already Mr. Olympia, so I, I've already won. And then 78, the same way, and 79, I went all out because I wanted a three in a row, and it, I got in really incredible shape. Right.